Hi everyone, Mad Scientist Raymond here. I just got my Arduino microcontroller pack a week ago and I've been having f a lot of fun with it. I just wanted to show you this little project that I just made. And uh, so without ado, let me just uh, plug it in and show you a little bit of what I can do. Basically, this is the Arduino microcontroller board. It's just the size of a credit card, really tiny. This project combines an LED, a light emitting diode, with a little speaker, with a potentiometer, like a volume control, with a photo sensor here, senses light, and I'll let me plug it in and you'll see what happens. Okay. Oops. So you can see based on the amount of light that this photosensor is receiving, it um, affects the signal, uh, affects the frequency of both the LED and the speaker at the same time. Uh, the more light it gets, the greater the current, and uh, the lower the frequency. The less light, the higher the frequency of both the blinking LED and of the speaker. So watch. I'm going to get closer and you see I'm starting to block the light with my hand. Look what happens. Now watch what happens when I turn off the light. Woohoo! Look at that. Raymond's in the club. We're all going crazy now. Awesome, right? Alright, let me turn this off. Alright, let's just do a quick explanation of what's going on. So this is the microcontroller pack I got. It cost 130 bucks. Got it from Radio Shack. It um, has 100 components. And what is a microcontroller? Really fast. A microcontroller is just a tiny computer on a chip. Just this thing right here. And um, you can use it to make devices that both sense and interact with the world. It has the processor, memory, clock, and input-output all on one integrated circuit. It takes input signals from many kinds of sensors. You can take inputs from light sensors, motion sensors, sound, temperature, or even the Internet. And then it processes that data using programs that you can write yourself and then it can output signals to control things like motors, buzzers, lights, solenoids, and computers. You can make, you can control robots, you control, control your lawnmower, amazing stuff. Um, so basically, what, what happens here? Uh, so the power comes out of here, I don't know if you can see, sorry, the uh, camera gets blurry when I move it. Basically, there you go. 5 volts comes out of this red cable here and it goes to one end of my photo sensor here goes through a resistor here comes back out goes back into ground here so that's a complete circuit then I have this wire here that goes to one end of the photo sensor and goes into an analog input pin right here right here so the Arduino reads the output of the photosensor, how much brightness there is. Based on that, it sends uh, an output to this, this other side, which is uh, the digital output. It sends output to both the, this LED here, light emitting diode, and to this pin, which goes to 